I love these moments when I get to sit down here in the studio and do something with my bikes. So today it's Friday, you're watching me probably on Saturday, Sunday. That's the second MTB race this year and I'm going to be racing on my uh, hardtail. So I'm going to just prepare a little bit the drivetrain. Uh, but I thought that would be a good moment to do some Q&A. But this one will be a reversed one. So I'm asking the questions and you answer those. Before we do that, I owe you explanation for sure. Uh, so I'm going to do that, do that in just a couple of minutes, which is my channel or uh, as you call it, rebranding. Uh, I'm not really good, I'm bad at branding, rebranding, marketing, CEOing and whatever you call it, uh, what could be somehow connected to having YouTube channel or website or fan page on Facebook and so on. So my channel was originally called Ken and Danny. When I launched it, when I started doing some videos, it was just around one and a half year ago. Uh, it was out of my love to mostly mountain biking. I'm racing, I'm racing mountain bikes, but I'm training on road bikes mostly uh, and these were Canada bikes that I've been riding for many years I just love those and and I do it but I didn't know there's something like branding so if you have a channel name and you want for example Canada to send you the bike uh, and be independent and not paid and do not not paid review you don't want your channel's name or website or whatever to be attached to the brand because you don't look like the independent one so I came up with the idea, stupid one, to call my English channel, because I have a Polish one too, with the same name. The Polish one is called Shy Bike and it's, it calls, it's, it's, it's kind of like sick bike, being sick about biking or being crazy about biking. So I came up with this Shy Bike name, S-H-A-I-B-I-K-E. And it wasn't a good idea because you just cancel that, delete that S and you've got high bike. So another brand. So that was poor decision. So finally, uh, I came up with the, with the same logo I have. This is the Polish channel, Shy Bike, right? And the logo SB. So I just want to keep this SB logo because I'm gonna have some nice kit and, and stickers on my bikes. So sick biker, sick biker, meaning kind of like Shy Bike, crazy about bikes and here I am, sick biker. I'm not planning to, to be rebranding uh, the, the, the channel anymore. But as you can see, uh, it's redesigned. I've, I have some, some new equipment and I'm working on the quality. So I'm getting to my drivetrain guys and I've got a couple of questions to you. Uh, because I don't know that much about you. I'm, I'm learning about you from your comments, uh, which are many every day, but mostly these are um, questions about what to buy. So what I'm curious about, and I'd love, I'd love you to, to answer uh, in the comment, is where are you from? From my analytics, I can see it, it's, it's, this is not a Q&A for, like uh, you know marketing or something i just i'm just cur curious my analytics say that uh, most of you most of you like 80 percent of of my audience my cycling friends come from usa which is mostly from california so tell me something about uh, us why us okay i understand many people really like sport oriented and having also money for the equipment okay uh, but why California? Uh, I believe California isn't the only place uh, in US which pretty good weather all year round, roughly. So why California? Why there's so many cyclists in, in California? Why do you enjoy cycling so much uh, there? I'm curious. Now for those uh, guys from other uh, continents, uh, I get pretty, pretty many comments from Brazil, which is nice. From, uh, from Europe, that would be UK, of course. That's the second largest group of my uh, audience. Let me know, from where are you from? From what countries? Uh, where do you live? Uh, and what is your riding style? Do you like MTB or do you like road bikes? Just, you know, put some, just a, a li little bit of, of, of words, uh, your, your input in the comments. Uh, I will read all of those. Uh, I'm not being able to go through all the comments I have under my uh, my videos because I, I have 500 of those on Sigbiker channel. 
and uh, almost 700 on the other, on the Polish one. So it's a lot, but on this episode, I'm gonna really uh, read those through. So MTB or road? Once more, I'm not asking because, um, so that I could plan some episodes for you because uh, I love everything, you know? When I started riding road bikes, it was late because uh, when I was racing, I was just both racing and training on my uh, MTB. Uh, now I'm also riding road bikes. I love those. It is different stuff. I, I love it and I'm curious. I think most of you are cyclists like road bikers, but uh, okay, let, let's, let's just see uh, what you write in the comments. All right. Now, uh, as I said, most of your uh, comments, yeah, I could say most of your comments, these are the buying questions, like buyer's guide uh, request. Uh, but then when you perhaps buy the bike, you stop asking question, questions about the bike. So tell me, do you ride a lot? How, how often do you ride your bike? How, how many, maybe not kilometers, but, but hours you spend uh, on your bike? Because I'm not going to make this channel like buyer's guide. Uh, for for bikes because I love training and there will be more training session even though I can see really that uh, my audience doesn't really come to my channel for training sessions um, but you love the tips the tutorials which I love as well but you know cycling life is all is doing the bike so I'm maintaining the bike today but on Sunday I'm racing and it's gonna be a racing epi race uh, episode. So let me know, do you also ride the bike for training? Do you race sometimes? Um, how is your style of, uh, of cycling? If you just put a couple of words about you, it will, be, it will be so nice to connect to you more. So where are you from? What bike uh, are you riding? How much uh, you ride the bike? And if you want to, you can also uh, write to me that would be that would be kind of marketing question. Uh, what content are you looking? Are you searching for here on my channel? There will be still lots of um, uh, tutorials uh, because I love doing something with my bikes. Really, I, I love it. Uh, but training, there will be even more about training when I go to some races, and I hope to also um, interview some nice riders for you, which I've already done on my Polish channel, but it was in Polish, so I'm not putting it on, on the English channel. You know, uh, shooting the videos on two channels, Polish and English, international one, is difficult stuff, uh, but uh, I'm managing somehow, because I pretty much ride, record and edit. That's, uh, that's what I do. And I love it so much. Uh, thank you so much. These were just a couple of questions. If you have questions to me, you can certainly uh, ask those. We're gonna be doing sometimes some, some Q&A. You can also go to my fan page and maybe we can have uh, some discussion there uh, under the title of, uh, of this episode. I'm gonna just clean the drivetrain because uh, it can be either muddy or really, really like dusty on, on, the, on those tracks on Sunday. So I want my drive train to, to work perfectly and we'll see. Last time I was 9th out of 41. This time I think there will be more riders uh, competing and I'll be really tired because tomorrow, Saturday, when you're watching me, I'm doing a long ride once more. So Sunday, there will be no time for recovery after a whole week of base training. But we'll see how it goes. It will be pretty exciting. Thanks so much for being with Sig Biker. Sig Biker! <laughs> and see you soon. Bye bye.